Hi, I'm Katastana, Product Marketing Manager of Dell Optimizer. Today, I'll be walking you through Dell Optimizer on our Precision 5550 and Latitude 9420 devices. With Dell Optimizer, Dell Business PCs are the most intelligent in the industry. In Dell Optimizer, there is AI built in so it learns the user's behavior and dynamically adjusts settings so you get the best performance out of your device. In 2020, Dell Optimizer launched with four key features, Express Response, Intelligent Audio, Express Charge, and Express Sign-In. At the end of 2020, we also launched Analytics for Precision Users, and this year, in 2021, we released enhancements to these different features as well as a new feature called Express Connect or Network Optimization. Feature availability will vary by platform, and as you'll see, the features that I have on my Precision will be a little bit different from the ones that you see on my Latitude. So let's go take a look at the Precision device first. So right now we are looking at the Precision 5550. I had just installed the latest version of Dell Optimizer on this device, so let's take a look. All right, so I just clicked open Dell Optimizer on my Precision 5550. Now, when you first launch it on your device, you will see a few onboarding screens, as you see here right now. These onboarding screens will walk you through what you as the end user can expect to see from Dell Optimizer, the different features that are available on your device, as well as the key benefits of those different features. So I'll click through these onboarding screens so you can see. Click on Get Started. This screen talks about Express Connect and how it boosts your network connection. This is intelligent audio and how it improves audio and voice. Then there is express response that optimizes your applications. And available on this precision device is also an analytics feature that helps monitor system health and resources. After these onboarding screens, you'll be presented with this privacy notice. There is no default answer, so you do have to provide a response to this. You either consent to it or you don't consent to it. And when you consent, that means that you agree to send select telemetry data back to Dell for Dell to improve on Dell Optimizer. You can select any response that you would like, and there will be a page within the Dell Optimizer user interface where you can change your response. For the purposes of this video, I will go ahead and select I consent and continue. And then as you see on the Precision device, we have five available features here. We have Analytics, which is available on Precision devices only. We have Applications or Express Response. We have Intelligent Audio. We have Network or Express Connect. And we have Power or Express Charge. And now I will walk through each of these features. For the analytics feature on Precision Devices, this feature allows the user to monitor the system health and system resources. It allows you to pull three different types of reports, workload analysis, system analysis, and also it links out to the Microsoft Reliability Report. These reports can be saved as a PDF and sent to your IT administrator as you see fit. Moving on to Express Response or Applications. This feature has AI models working in the background that learns your behavior with selected applications. And after that learning period is complete, Dell Optimizer dynamically applies system settings so your applications perform better and faster. You can select up to five applications and we can go through that right now. We can click on Add Applications. And on this screen, Dell Optimizer will show you your most frequently used applications. Because this is a new device, it's randomly selected a few applications that you can choose from. You can also browse for other applications if they're not showing up on this menu. For this video, we'll go ahead and select a few and then learn and optimize. Dell Optimizer does remind you that it can take up to 24 hours to learn your behavior in some cases. It really depends on how you use those selected applications during that learning period and also how frequently you use it as well. Okay, and as you can see here, those three applications have been populated into this list. Under optimization status, you'll see that they're currently learning for all three. As mentioned, it does take a couple of hours to learn, and once that learning period has been completed, you will see the status change to optimized. 
And in certain instances, when the optimization gains are significant, you'll also see the percentage gain of that optimization as well. You can go in and take additional actions. You can pause the optimization at any time, and you can also delete these applications from the list in order to make room for more applications. I want to call out that all the learning from the AI models is done locally on the device. So none of your information is stored in the cloud or sent back to Dell. Uh, but the learning for these applications are saved on the device and are specific to you as the end user. If the end user has any questions around each specific feature, they can always go to the How Does It Work link. This link is available for every feature, and it walks the user through what they can expect from that specific feature and what benefits they can expect to see. And that was Express Response or Applications. Moving on to Intelligent Audio. Under Intelligent Audio, there are a few things that you can adjust. So the first is the environment. It will adjust the speaker's voice, equalization, reduce background noises, and eliminate echoes. And these adjustments will differ depending on the environment that you're in. So right now I'm in a quiet room and that's appropriate, but if I were ever to go back into a noisy office, I can select this and Dell Optimizer will be more aggressive in noise cancellation. If there are multiple voices speaking into systems built in microphone, you can select multiple voices. Or if you're in a recording studio where the environment is very quiet, Dell Optimizer will know to be more mild on noise cancellation. The second part to intelligent audio is 3D audio. This is a simple toggle on and off. Once you turn that on, it enables a more 3D-like experience out of your device. So you as the end user can benefit from that. Last but not least is notifications. By simply checking this box, you can confirm optimization when you connect to a new audio device. One new feature that was released in 2021, I'll call out here, but you don't see it on the screen right now. Under Intelligent Audio, we will also have a new feature called Auto Mute, which mutes all intrusive sounds from your background while you're not speaking and while you're participating on conference calls. I'll go through that in a little bit more detail when we walk through the Latitude device. The next feature available in Dell Optimizer on this device is Network or Express Connect. There are two parts to Express Connect, as you see here. The first is conference bandwidth performance. You may be doing multiple things on your device, have multiple windows and browsers open. You might be downloading files, but as soon as you jump on your conference call, Dell Optimizer will recognize that and will prioritize your network bandwidth to your conference call. So you have fewer dropped calls and fewer interruptions. The second part to Express Connect is automatic network switching. You can come in here and select all the networks that you have credentials for, whether it's at home, in your office, or at a remote location. And as you move from place to place, Dell Optimizer will keep you connected to the best available network. And by best network, it's not only the strongest connection, but it's also the network that allows you to have the most bandwidth or the most data transfer. And then the last feature that we'll go through on this device is power or express charge. With this feature, Dell Optimizer uses AI models in the background to learn your charge and discharge behavior, as well as the state of your battery health. And based on what it learns from you over a one week period, it will categorize you into one of four different profiles. You may be a marathon user, so someone that unplugs from their power source at the beginning of the day and doesn't charge again until the end of the day. You may be a corridor warrior, so someone that's in the office, in and out of meetings, but you have a regular charge and discharge pattern. You may be a performance user, someone that uses battery and resource intensive applications on their device, or you might be a desktop replacement user, so someone that's always plugged into a power source. And based on whichever profile you fall under, Dell Optimizer will do these two different things. So the first part is adaptive battery performance. When you have this enabled, Dell Optimizer will extend your battery life when you need it. For example, if you're a marathon user and you won't be recharging your system until the very end of your day, once you've hit a certain threshold, Dell Optimizer will recognize that and will take certain actions to extend or preserve your battery life. It may do things such as dim keyboard lights or dim screen lights. 
For dynamic charge policy, Dell Optimizer will select the right charge policy for your profile. For example, if you are a desktop replacement user, someone that's always connected to a power source, then Dell Optimizer will know that you don't need a faster charging policy. Now, those were the main features that we have on our Precision device. I will call out that at the bottom here, you'll also see suggestions for you. And the purpose of these suggestions are to inform the end user of actions they can take in order to get the most out of Dell Optimizer. You'll see here in this specific example, it is telling me that I can select up to five applications to optimize under the Applications or Express Response feature. So it's asking me to take action. And Dell Optimizer will change these suggestions out as you use it, and these suggestions will also be different for each user as well. All right, now we will move on to the Latitude 9420. Right now we're looking at the Latitude 9420, and I'll walk you through a few of the differences that you might see as compared to the Precision device. So first, we'll take a look at the Applications feature or Express Response. So as I showed you earlier on the Precision device, we had added a few applications into the list for Express Response. On this Latitude device, we've actually given it some time, and so these applications have been optimized. You'll see that I have four applications on my screen. The bottom three have been optimized, so you'll see a check mark right next to it. But this top one saw a significant optimization gain of 34%, and that gets called out in that list. You can always come here to the actions list and take a look at the optimization score, and you'll see that those gains came from CPU operations. If you go back to the main menu, you'll also see that 34% is called out on this main screen as well. Moving on to Intelligent Audio, one difference that you may see on this screen is Auto Mute. Auto Mute is a feature that was launched in 2021, and it shows up on devices that were launched in 2021 as well. So the main benefit of Auto Mute is that it removes intrusive sounds while you're on your conference call but you're not speaking. For example, you may be participating in a meeting with your microphone unmuted. If your dog decides to bark at that time or if your neighbor decides to mow their lawn at that time, that would be okay because if you're not speaking, Dell Optimizer will know to mute all your background noises and all intrusive sounds so you have fewer interruptions on your conference call. The last part I'd like to call out that is available on the Latitude device is Proximity Sensor. And actually this feature, Proximity Sensor or Express Sign-In is available on select devices only. So they are available on laptops or mobile devices that have the built-in Proximity Sensor. When we go in here, you can see that there are a few settings that you have control over. This first one is Walkaway Lock. And what that does is, as soon as you walk away from your device, Dell Optimizer will know that there's no one in front of your device and it will lock your screen depending on the timer that you set. So you can set your timer between 30 to 120 seconds. So if I walked away, Dell Optimizer will know that. And after 60 seconds, it will lock my screen to provide greater security and privacy. You can also snooze this walkway lock feature to temporarily disable it. So for example, if you were in a meeting room and you wanted your device to stay on, but you also wanted to get up and walk around the room or write on the whiteboard, you can snooze the walkway lock feature for up to 120 minutes for the duration of that meeting. The second part of proximity sensor or express sign-in is wake on approach. For this setting, as soon as you walk up to your device, Dell Optimizer will know that someone is in front of the computer and it will wake your system as you approach it. And if you have Windows Hello set up, then facial recognition can sign you into your device. There are special use cases specifically for the Latitude 9420, this system. We also have camera-based detection or Intel visual sensing technology. All you would have to do is click on this checkbox in order to enable that feature. And this provides more accurate presence detection. And as you can see here, under suggestions for you, on this Latitude device, these suggestions do look different from what you saw from my Precision device because I've used this Latitude device for a while now. You can also see that under networks, because I have Express Connect enabled, changing networks has improved my connection by 24%. 
And that's a gain that we saw because Dell Optimizer was enabled. As you've seen today, Dell Optimizer has six available features and feature availability will vary by platform. To learn more about Dell Optimizer, please visit delltechnologies.com backslash optimizer or contact your sales representative.